After completing this lesson, you'll be able to set the position and orientation of the model for output, define the OmniClass information used by the BIM model, set properties for the model, and review the output report. Once again, accessing the BIM content tools, we'll activate the Author Building Components tool. This will bring up a dialog where we are first able to set the orientation based on the view cube or the model origin. Using the view cube, we can also locate the insertion points. We can use the geometry of the connection points, or for this lesson, we'll use the front, bottom, right corner. Selecting the search for the OmniClass number and name, we can look through all the categories of the various products, look through their subcategories, or we can use the search for and enter a descriptive name for our product, in this case, Furnace. Looking at the various options, we see the very bottom option is for fuel-fired furnaces. We'll select that and click OK. For the component properties, we can load model properties, including the ability to filter through the properties that are automatically loaded, or we can just simply enter the basic information, such as a description, the manufacturer information, and a model number. Once this is complete, we'll click OK, and this will complete the information in our model. Next. We'll export it using the Export Building Components tool. Using this tool, we'll set a name for our file. We'll use a Revit family file, an RFA file, but we could also generate an IFC or a .adsk file format. Clicking Save will generate the model. And after a few moments, we'll be offered an opportunity to review a report on the export. We'll click Yes and in the browser be able to review the information, including a status on whether or not the connectors were successfully generated for use in the BIM model. Now our product is ready to be shared with our customers.